Hey, this is Dave from HouseParents.com. Today we're going to show you how to assemble ducts, how to connect ductwork together. All right, kids, today the letter of the day is C and a bonus letter, S. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. What we have here is a, a return that we're going to put in place. Uh, and typically before you can get to this part, you have to assemble the sections of ductwork. And they usually come in two halves. The first thing to do is assemble those together. halves go together just by a basically a pinch fit you can see that that uh, folded piece of metal it's a, a fold that marries up with that one start on the edge and then move all the way down same thing with this on this side Wedge this apart a little bit so we can get her started. All right, that's our section. Once you've got that assembled, you're ready to go ahead and install it. And so this is our, our bottom section and it's made up of two different sides. You have these really thin sides right here and then this side here is folded over. The short sides are folded over, the, the long sides are just straight sheet metal. One word of caution with ductwork is that th these are really sharp. It's kind of like juggling razor blades. So gloves are not a bad idea. Um, I've been using them on and off and so far I've uh, managed not to cut myself. Once you get to this point you have a, a piece of uh, duct that's been put together and they join together in their corners uh, uh, by a force fit and after they're force fit together and you have this duct section you got to mat you have to match up this with this and uh, to do that we have two different kinds of connectors. These two letters or these two connectors make putting two pieces of ductwork together, really simple. First connector uh, that we have is, uh, this is an S cleat. This S cleat's always go on the long side and the short side gets a drive cleat. And this is a drive cleat. And uh, for our letters for the day, uh, drive cleat is shaped like the letter C and the S cleat, of course, per the name, like the letter S. And so, S cleats go on the long side, and basically what these do is, is they easily help the connecting of two sections of uh, ductwork. So first thing to do, we'll put this on, and it just slides on here, and you can tap it on pretty easily. And it's just a, it's just a force fit. And so on the, both, the, both long ends, we'll end up putting on S cleats. All right, with the S cleats on, then what we have left is we'll use our drive cleats um, when we start connecting them together. And the drive cleats basically hook on the edges of the sides here. Both the, on the short sides, you can see how that's folded over like that. And it's folded over on both, both pieces and then the drive cleat slides over both edges and connects the two together. And I just move really slow with this metal because it is really sharp. I'm going to go ahead and slide the S cleats on. I can do this from, the, from this side. So here I have the S cleat. And that's why they call it an S cleat. Well, and this is how it actually comes. It's all jammed together. So I'm just going to put this on the bottom 
and then also feed it into the top and there it just slides in. And so what this is doing is just aligning these two sections. They're aligned and now they have to get uh, brought together. All right, got it started. You can see that's that's how it's shaped. And it's going right over these two edges together. As its name is, you just drive it. Now, this is a 24 by 10 duct, but this actually measures longer than that because it has these tabs on either end. And what you do with those tabs is hammer them over and that secures it in place. They make a tool to cinch this up if it's if you run into a situation where it's really too tight you need to pull those two together but these are going on just fine. There you go, all said and done, it, it uh, really makes a nice look and they are well connected together. And basically that's how all these ducts were originally put together. Hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, get, drop us a line. Uh, be sure and subscribe, we've got lots more videos coming. See you next time.